Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how to display your frame rate of your games while you're running them in RetroPie on the Raspberry Pi. Now this works from the Raspberry Pi Zero on up to the new Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, but it only works with RetroArch cores or RetroArch emulators. So any emulator with LR before it, it's going to work with. For example, it will not work with Dreamcast because it is not a RetroArch core. This also doesn't work with N64 because it's using Moopin64. It is not an LR Moopin64 core. I'd say about 80% of the systems do use RetroArch cores. It might even be higher than that. So most of the stuff that you're going to be playing, you will be able to display an FPS counter in the bottom left-hand corner. It's very easy to set up. First thing we're going to do is head over to the RetroPie menu. We're going to scroll down to RetroArch. From here, go to Settings, Video, Display Frame Rate. Now when you turn this on, there's also another option to show frame count. If you look in the lower left hand corner, you can see the frames are counting up. You can turn that off and just have the FPS listed. This is the way I like it. I'm going to back up, Configurations, Save Current Configuration. I'll back up one more time and quit RetroArch. From here on out, anytime I start a game that uses a RetroArch core, it will display the FPS in the lower left hand corner. We're going to go to PlayStation. I'm going to start Gran Turismo 2. This is using LR PCSX rearmed. If you look in the lower left hand corner, we now have an FPS counter. So this is a cool little feature to see if overclocking helps out with certain games that are really slow. Now with most of the games that I've tested in the new Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, I don't go under, I'd say 55 FPS. There are a few games that do lag a little more. Go ahead, overclock, and see if it helps the frame rate. So like I mentioned, it does have to be an LR Core Neo Geo LR FBA Alpha. We'll have that FPS listed in the lower left hand corner. If it's not running a RetroArch core, this will not work. You can also display the frame rate of Emulation Station. Now this is great for theme developers to see if they got any slowdowns with bigger images and things like that. We're going to go to Other Settings, Show Frame Rate, turn that on, and Back. Now this will not display in games, only in Emulation Station. And as you can see when I'm scrolling through here, it does go down a little bit. We'll go to Scraper. I notice that it goes down a lot when I'm in the scraper here. Go to scrape now, systems, 56 FPS. I did see it go down to 54. Now this is really useful for theme developers, but I leave this one off. I just have RetroArch displaying my FPS for my games. I've had a lot of people ask me about this, so I figured I'd make a quick video. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And like always, thanks for watching.